Hey guys, Coach Lou and I'm bringing another recipe to you. This one is a vegan friendly recipe. Um, I shared a video about my journey to a more plant based diet. If you haven't watched that, have a read um, if it's something you're thinking about. Um, but this is a fantastic recipe. It's really tasty and it's one that I've uh, very much made up myself playing about in the kitchen over the last week or so. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Um, it is spicy tomato Toffee. So the ingredients we need, the first ingredients are in the pan already. We have um, onion, garlic and half a red chilli. It's up to you how many chillies you want to add um, depending on how you um, spicy you like food. Lawson's going to be eating this so I try not to make it too spicy. You could also use flakes as well. I had fresh um, chilli there tonight so I've used that instead. So while that's starting to fry, um, I've got peppers, mushrooms, longer um long stem broccoli tender broccoli and um, i have cut, cut the longer stems off of it though just for the sake of it going into um the pan i've got organic tofu here if you're going to eat tofu i highly recommend that you get organic so that you get the best version of the soybean and it hasn't been through too much of a process because that's when it becomes not quite as good for the gut we've got some coriander here I've got some paprika, I've got some uh, tomato passata and I'll also be adding some basil to the mix. So we've got the onions, the garlic and the chilies in. Once that's browned slightly, I'm going to add in the mushrooms and um, then I'm going to add in the, the broccoli just to take a little bit longer um, to cook and then I'm going to add in the tofu followed by the pepper. As you can see, this is cooking along nicely. What I did do before I added um, the tofu and the, the stemmed broccoli, so while the mushrooms and onions were cooking, I added in my basil and I added in my paprika, and then I put the tofu and the, the, the broccoli in, and I've mixed it in so you can see it's sticking to the tofu for that extra flavour. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to put my tomato passata in. You only need to put um, a small drop of game, it's really good taste, depends how much sauce you want. I find if you put too much in it'll become it'll become quite runny and um, this is better in a thicker sauce. Um, once I've done that I'm gonna add in my um, orange peppers and my uh, coriander. I like to add those in last so that the peppers don't get um, too soft and they stay nice um, and crunchy and we're almost at the end of the recipe at this point. So as you can see recipe is bu bu bubbling away, this looks absolutely delicious. I'm just mixing in um, the coriander and the peppers and I'm going to leave it for about 5 to min minutes, 10 minutes or so. Just keep stirring occasionally just to make sure everything's cooked through thoroughly and what it'll do is it'll evaporate, um, I think the camera went off a bit there, it will also evaporate a bit of the uh, sauce so that um, it's not quite as runny. And um, if you want to add extra cor coriander once it's done and add it to the top, feel free. If you um, do have dairy, what you can do to make it a little bit more creamy is you could add a tablespoonful of creme fraiche in there. Uh, tonight though I'm going for that nice, um, really tomatoey, spicy sauce um, and I want to keep this dish um, more vegan based so I won't be adding any dairy um, into this dish but you could do that as an option. Try it out, it's absolutely delicious. Um, my little guy loves it, my husband loves it. Full of protein, get it into you, clean it in. Um, it's tasty, it's delicious. Look at those colours as well. Um, it's a right in and it makes you want to eat it. Better than a takeaway any day. Enjoy the recipe. So that's Coach Lou's Spicy Tomato Toffee.